So it's great to be here with Senator Warren. I serve with her on the banking committee and she's been our champion cracking down on Wall Street abuse. And in the midst of all the focus on the Trump ties to Russia, they have used an underhanded method uh, to try to put, to put somebody who's been very cozy with Wall Street in charge of overseeing all the big banks, Keith Norica. Mm -hmm. And they use this underhand method, which also means that he doesn't have to comply with the Trump ethics requirements, which means he gets to regulate all the big banks and then go right out and lobby for the same big banks. And we need to blow the whistle on this. And I'm so pleased to be here with my friend, Senator Warren, who has been leading the charge on so many of these issues. So uh, that's really the deal. The Office of the Controller of the Currency is uh, the agency that's supposed to make sure that banks don't blow up the economy. That's what they're there to do. And uh, now what's happened is the old person who was in charge of the OCC has been pushed out the door and the Trump administration through the Secretary of Treasury has brought somebody in new. And this person that they've brought in new is a special employee of the government. And the reason this person is special, well, that means they don't have to abide by a bunch of the ethics rules. So here's the deal. We got a guy who's supposed to, who's worked for the big banks, who's helped the big banks, and who now comes in to oversee the big banks. And we don't even get a look at his financial interests in big banks, at his conflicts of interest. We just turn him loose to do this work, and here's the best part of all. The day that he's through working for the government, it looks like there's nothing to stop him from going right back to work for the big banks. So who will he really be working for while he's in government? Exactly, and we didn't get a chance to ask him those questions nope. in the Senate Banking Committee because they used this backdoor method to install him so he could do Wall Street's bidding without having to come uh, before the public and answer questions. Look, the big banks broke the economy, got bailed out by the taxpayers, and man, they are flying high again. The rest of America, not so much so. We think that the people who come to work here in Washington ought to answer some basic ethics and clear up some conflicts and make absolutely sure that while they're here, they're working for the American people. So, you and me, whistleblowers today? We gotta do it. You bet. All right.